My grandfather always wore a watch. My dad told me a story that I try not to think about too much. Working in the National Guard, he would work in the ports and essentially I, he must have done like a favor for one of the sailors coming in that day. And I guess it was a big favor and the sailor decided to hand him off his Patek. My aunt needed like a whole heart surgery and at the moment I guess the funds weren't there so my grandfather decided to sell the watch to be able to give in for the surgery. At the end of the day, it's, it's really the person that's wearing a lot of these items. I think the clothing is only part of what makes a person. And when I think about my grandfather, you know, he was a very humble person. He always liked to help people, but he was always very put together. And it's almost kind of like this armor that we can wear. You know, it's almost like a costume in a way. When I was living down in Miami, my dad, you know, once or twice a week, we would sit down and have cigars in the patio. He happened to just bring up to me like, hey, like I heard about this brand, Cuervo y Sobrino, out of Cuba. And they were one of the only Swiss manufactured watches from Cuba. I really have only worn one watch and it's really been this guy here. Just the proportions of the dials and how Cuervo y Sobrino is kind of written out on the dial, it just felt very elegant. And it was, again, it was like this touch of having a chronograph that felt very easy to wear. And I think the beauty is in also having one thing and just having it for so many years it lives its own life. And it kind of almost creates this nice attraction that you have with it in relationship where it kind of goes beyond the material matter. Living with these objects, again, I, I think a big part of why I choose to collect them is because they had a life before me. And I think that resonates with me because it already sets the tone when, when I'm living with that piece or object. The common element between whether it's like me getting dressed or, you know, the objects that I collect is just a balance of rustic and elegant. It's essentially beautiful, but also functional. I think it's like the beauty of good design is something that can speak in its natural, in its essence, but is also very beautiful to look at or wear, and it's very easy to use as well. Whenever I'm looking for something, whether it's an artifact, a material I wanna work with, it's just a matter of really kind of searching and digging, because once I find it, I know exactly what it is because it's been sitting in my head that entire time.